We have eight miles of hallways just in the main campus itself. And that doesn't even count all the exterior buildings that we also put art in. So we have slowly been populating the hallways with artworks and just making the place a lot less industrial, a lot less cold feeling. The Healing Art Program is a way to bring art and music into the hospital for the benefit of the patients and staff and visitors. It's always kind of like this moment where you can take like five seconds and like meditate and listen to it. And uh, we have our favorites that come in and play. And uh, it's just, it's a nice feeling. It's, it's relaxing. A lot of people are so excited, <laughs> like I walk into um, a hallway and people are like, yes, music is here. And it's very funny and surprising um, how excited people are about it. There was a couple in town, um, Doris and Len Chorus, and they're really the founders of the program. They had a large collection of art and they were thinking about what was going to happen with that collection. They thought it would be wonderful if they could find a hospital that would be interested in it. And in fact, I'm standing right in front of one of the first donations of art that came from the choruses. It's a set of six prints by Allie Clift. She's an artist out of Canada, but I might mention that most of the art in the hospital is actually from local artists. I love it, and it's been a, such a treat to walk through the hallways, and I've kind of made it a part of my life now when I'm here as a patient or changing buses and have a little extra time to come in and go down you know, a hallway and enjoy the art. And the patios also, the sculpture on the patios. If you look at a beautiful view, it turns out that there is a part of the brain that recognizes beautiful views. It's called the parahippocampal cortex, so I won't quiz you on that, but you know, it has a name. And it processes beautiful views. And it turns out that part of the brain is rich in endorphins, feel-good molecules. I call it soul pleasure. You know, it's about... Uh, enjoying not only the beauty, but the creativity and the ability of these artists, which I think sometimes has to be spiritually inspired. How wonderful to bring art that is uplifting and energetic. And I know my husband is smiling down on me and saying, I like this, it's, this is, this is important for me to keep that memory alive. This is how I want people to remember me. My husband was Dr. Marius Wagner, a local cardiologist who worked at TMC for maybe 35 years. He passed away in May of 2017. And I wanted to do work in honor of my husband and I wanted to place it in a scientific arena. So I showed Lauren my figures. They're all about movement and dance. Um, the originals have little mechanical elements to represent like different body parts. They're so cool. And she said, oh, these would look amazing big. I said, well, how big? And she said, five feet tall. And I was ecstatic because I really visualized this work as life-sized. Why place art in a hospital setting? Well, there are beginning to be studies that show that art actually can improve quality of life, and that contributes very importantly to healing. It makes me feel good to play for people and, and know that I'm making some contribution 
to the community in this way. You know, there's a magic that happens between the art and the viewer. I think about this a lot. There's that space where y y the human spirit soars. And what better place to have that experience than in a hospital? The artwork is gorgeous. It's causing conversation. You go through like the surgical areas where the families are waiting and they're kind of stressed and everything. And you can just talk to them about the artwork and you can see their whole stress level just relax. And then us nurses too, we have just as much stress as everybody else. And it's awfully nice to take a break and just look at the, the artwork. It's really nice. This is absolutely the best job I've ever had in the art world. Um, it's just wonderful to have a job where people really are grateful for what you do every single day. It's amazing. I love being here. I don't think we'll be running out of space anytime soon. Um, people talk about the fact that I have good job security. A lot of miles of walls, so it'll be a while.